In this video, we're gonna learn how to add camera shake to any comp in Fusion in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Here's what we're doing. So he comes up and then when he lands, we have that kind of shake effect. It really enhances the impact, boom, really spice up your footage and it's super simple. My name's Casey and I help content creators learn to make effects, graphics, and animations inside of Fusion. I have a Fusion survival guide, which is a free video course. It's available now in the description and more on that later. Let's jump into the tutorial. So here I have my comp in Fusion. I've replaced the sky to be a little bit more interesting. And now we wanna add just a little bit of shake when he lands. Now, this is something that you can do in the paid version of Resolve with an open effects plugin that comes with the studio version. But I'm gonna show you how to do a really high quality camera shake with just the built-in camera shake effect that comes with Fusion. So towards the end of our comp, I'm gonna hit shift spacebar and I'm gonna search for camera, C-A-M. And on my screen, there are two versions of camera shake. This one without the extra letters, this is the paid version, which is very nice. And there are lots of controls over the different shake levels, the randomness, and you can really get some realistic looking camera shake with this because you have all of these controls. But the camera shake that comes with the free version of Resolve and Fusion is this camera shake. And then in parentheses, it says Kashuk. So we want the Kashuk. And now if we put this on our footage, we can see it's not as great. It's very wild. So we have to play with some of these controls. One of them that I'll take down is the speed. And now this shakes a little bit less crazy, but you can tell, I mean, it looks kind of fake, right? It just kind of moves back and forth. It looks like somebody added a fake shake to it, right? We can also take the overall strength down, which will help. And now we have just a little bit of shake, which, you know, looks okay. But I mean, come on, look at this. It just, it's obviously like moving kind of predictably back and forth about the same amount, right? Kind of sucks. So to make this look a little more natural, we need to add some randomness to it. Over here in the inspector, we do have a randomness slider, which we can push up whoosh, like that. And that will make it a little better. And, you know, depending on what you're doing, this might be decent enough. But let me show you a quick little trick that will make this even more random. By right-clicking on any control in the inspector, you get this little menu. And if you go down to modify with, there are all these different modifiers that you can add to kind of change how this control acts. And one of them is called perturb. If we click on perturb, that's going to add a perturb modifier to this X deviation. Wow, that is just a really nerdy sentence. Anyway, basically what it's going to do is kind of shake it, move it around, sort of like our original shake was doing, but it's only gonna do it for this parameter. And so as we play this, it's going to kind of move this back and forth and it's gonna kind of randomize how much shake happens on the X axis. We can do the same thing for Y deviation. I can right click on that, modify with perturb, and that's going to add another modifier. And so now, if we play this back, it's a lot less fake looking. It kind of stops and moves in another direction and changes the amount that it's moving. There's all kinds of things and it's just a lot more natural looking because it's more random. If you have the node selected, you can go up to here where it says tools and click over to modifiers and you can adjust how this modifier modifies what it's attached to. And so I can adjust the strength of this perturb and make it a little crazier or a little less crazy. I can change the wobble and you can kind of just play around with this to get an even more random movement on both of these sliders. And so it does a pretty good job of randomizing this movement so that it doesn't look like we just added obviously fake shake. Cool, so we're almost done. The one thing that we will do is keyframe this shake. We want this to be not very shaky and then once he lands, that he lands so hard that it shakes the camera, right? So right about here, this is where we're going to keyframe this overall strength because we can take this overall strength down and it's not shaky at all. And as we push it up, it gets more and more shaky, right? So let's go ahead and start with it down. And then right about when he lands, we're gonna add a keyframe right here by clicking on this diamond. That's gonna tell it at 95 frames to be at zero. And now as he lands, we're gonna get shakier and shakier for a couple frames. So I'll push this overall strength up a little bit and then we'll have this kind of die down towards the end. So we'll just have this overall strength go down again. So now when he lands, boom, it shakes real quick and that's cool. So that's definitely accomplishing the effect that we want. Boom, it shakes the camera as he lands. Very cool way to add a little bit of impact here. But we have a problem. This shake that we're adding is moving the footage around underneath the frame and we're going to have these kind of edges coming in. So there are a couple ways to do that. One is we could not shake it so much, but for this kind of thing, why don't we just scale this up a little bit? 
So what we can do is before our camera shake, we'll just grab a transform node and just drag this down and we'll run this comp through our transform before we do our camera shake. And if we push the size up a little bit, probably doesn't need to be that far, just enough to kind of cover this edge. Now we won't have any problem. We're losing a little bit of resolution, but nobody's really gonna care if it's 1.06, not a big deal. And now we have this really cool effect where when he lands, it shakes the camera, pretty cool. And it looks a lot more realistic because we have these perturb modifiers on there that are randomizing this even more than the built-in randomness. And so there you go. If you have the free version of Resolve, you can add a little bit more realistic camera shake with the built-in camera shake tool in Fusion. If you wanna learn more about working in Fusion, check out the Fusion Survival Guide. I have a link down below. And if you're somebody who's learning Fusion right now, what kind of tutorials do you wanna see? Let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. You know, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll take it up the flagpole as it were. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, but I'll consider it. How about that? That's my promise to you. Thank you so much for hanging out. You're the best.